Hi, I'm Mona with the Office for Mac Group. In this video tour, I'm going to point out some of the new and important features to help you get up to speed fast with Word 2008. The first thing you'll probably notice is the main toolbar. It's been redesigned to show the buttons you use the most, like Open, Save, Print, and Undo, as well as a few new ones, like this one, which displays the row of tabs known as the Elements Gallery. The Elements Gallery is brand new in Office 2008 and makes it easy to create great-looking documents. For example, you can quickly add pre-formatted cover pages, a table of contents, headers and footers, and bibliographies. Use any of the new professionally designed quick tables, or add word art to give text a graphical look. By the way, the Elements Gallery in Word appears in blue, just like the Word logo, which makes it easy to know that you're in Word when switching between Office applications. The toolbox has also been updated in Office 2008. It now gives you a single access point for tools like the formatting palette, scrapbook, and reference tools, so you don't have to spend a lot of time managing different windows. It also includes the new object palette, where you can preview clip art, images and symbols, and quickly add them to any document. You can see that the toolbox updates to show the most appropriate tools depending on what you've selected in a document. For example, select a picture and you get picture-related tools. Select text and the toolbox shows text-related options. Here on the back of the toolbox, you can change the toolbox settings like hiding any of the panels. And if you want to hide the toolbox while you work, just click this button. If you've used Word before, you probably know that there are different document views that you can work in. There's Print Layout View, which I'm in now, for authoring standard documents and professional reports. Notebook Layout View, for quickly capturing text and audio notes when you're in a meeting or classroom setting and the new Publishing Layout view for designing attractive print documents, such as newsletters, brochures, and flyers. You can switch between any of these views from here on the View menu. Both the Toolbox and the Main Toolbar have options appropriate for the view that you're working in. For example, in these meeting notes, viewed in Notebook Layout view, there's the Audio Toolbar for recording lecture or meeting notes directly in the notebook. While in this newsletter, viewed in Publishing Layout view, there's a Zoom Loop tool if you want to get a closer look at the layout. One other new feature across all Office applications is the Script menu. From here, you can add your own scripts or run Automator workflows created specifically for Word, like this one to add password protection and a watermark. So that's a quick overview of Word 2008. Hopefully now you'll be comfortable exploring what it has to offer. Be sure to check out some of the other videos that cover specific Word 2008 features, like document elements and publishing layout view, in more depth. 